I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, today's topic will be uh, graphs and problems, actually, for graphs. We'll start with problem number one. Um, this is actually a repetition of um, whatever we were talking about during the main lecture um, about the transformations which graph can take when you change the argument or the function. So let's assume that you have a function and its graph. So, we have four questions. What happens with the function's graph if I add something to an argument or add something to the entire function? or multiply something by um, an argument or the function? These four questions we will consider right now. So let's do it one by one. First, we will add something to argument. And let's assume that this constant is greater than 0. Um, OK, that's simple. Consider you have a point with coordinates, let's say, uh, capital A and capital B, which belongs to the original graph. So this is x coordinate, and this is y coordinate. x is equal to A, y is equal to B. And this point belongs to the graph. Now, obviously, if you would take the point um, a minus small uh, lowercase a and b. This point belongs to this graph because if you will add x plus a, you will get a, and f function of capital A is equal to b, as we know. Because the fact that this function, uh, this graph contains the point a, b, it actually means that if we apply function f to the value of argument a, we will get b. So same thing actually will happen here. Function f of a plus a, that's the x plus a, uh, sorry, minus a here, plus a, comma b, equals b. The function of a is equal to b. So, if point ab belongs to the original graph, then point a minus lowercase ab belongs to the new graph. So, we have to shift to the left, because you remember we started with a greater than zero. So, let's say this particular segment has a length A. So now we get the point which has x coordinate A minus lowercase a and the same B. So if this point belongs to the original graph, then this point belongs to the new graph. Same thing here, shifted to the left, same thing here, shifted to the left, and you will get an entire graph which resembles uh, which resembles our graph, but shifted to the left. Sorry, shifted to the left by by a units. Okay, so that's how it happens when uh, we shift to the left. Now, obviously, if we subtract positive number, uh, everything will be shifted to the right. So you can always say that uh, adding positive number shifts the graph to the left, positing, uh, adding positive number, so subtracting positive number, <laughs> um, shifts the graph to the right. Whatever the graph is, the shape um, of the curve is preserved. 
So if originally we had something like parabola, which is y is equal to x squared, then if I want a, a graph of y equals to x minus 3 squared, it will be shifted to the right by 3 units. So if this is 3, this is 0, then the whole parabola will be started from here. The same curve just shifted to the right because this is subtraction of the positive number uh, by this number. That's it. That covers um, adding or subtraction uh, of a constant to the argument of the function. So the graph shifts left or right based on the sign of uh, uh, addition or subtraction. Okay, that's number one. Number two, number two, we add a constant to an entire function, to an entire algebraic expression which defines our function. What happens here? Well, again, we'll do exactly the same thing. If point AB belongs to the graph, which means B is equal to function of A, then obviously point A, B plus lowercase a, belongs to this graph. Because if I will substitute a for x, f at x we know, according to this, is equal to b. So on the right I will have uh, I will have b plus, plus a, and on the left I will have b plus a. So basically, this point belongs to the new graph. So how does it look? If, if this is my original graph, and let's consider that this is point AB. So what I'm saying is that the new graph, the graph of this function, will have a point, same A, but B shifted, let's say A is positive, so I shifted by A units up. So this point belongs to the new graph. Similarly, every point can be shifted by the same segment of length A. And the new graph will be just above the original one, just shifted A units up. So. If we are adding positive number to an entire algebraic expression on the right side of this equation, of this expression to the function, then the whole graph shifts up. Obviously, if A is negative, it will be shifted down. Okay, now we will do multiplication. Problem number three will be we will multiply argument by a constant. And again, we consider that the point AB belongs to the original graph, which means B is equal to uh, F of X. Now what we can say, if we will substitute uh, a divided by lowercase a b into the new graph, what happens? It will be f of a, a divided by lowercase a. That will be on the right, right? But we know that this is function of a 
and function of a is equal to, as I should have actually written here, a. So function of a is equal to b. So this is b. What it means? It means that this particular point with these coordinates satisfies this new equation, which means it belongs to the graph. And now what we can say is the following. If AB belongs to a graph, then A divided by lowercase a, B, also belongs to the graph. Now, where is it graphically? Okay. Here is where it is. If this is my original function, let's say, let's consider parabola. Now, this is A and B. So, where is, in this case, point A divided by lowercase a? Well, let's consider this constant is greater than uh, 1, like 2, 3, whatever, any positive number greater than 1. It means we are actually squeezing a divided by lowercase a, that's squeezing the point to the left. So instead of uh, this segment, 0a, I will have a segment 0a divided by lowercase a. Let's say lowercase a is 2. Then this will be exactly half. So every point AB, which belongs to the original graph, you can consider that the new graph will be by squeezing this particular segment A times. So it will be like here. This point will be here. This point will be here. So the whole graph will go like here. And similarly, on the left side. So we are squeezing the graph by this constant A along the X towards the axis uh, uh, of uh, Y axis. Now, obviously, if uh, this constant A is less than 1, let's say it's 1 half, then squeezing by 1 half is actually multiplying by 2, obviously. So we are stretching uh, the graph. But in any case, whatever um, English word we are using, stretching or, or squeezing, whatever, what it actually means in this particular case is that we multiply the lengths of every um, x segment, multiply, uh, we will divide it by, we will divide it by this uh, number a. So if number a is greater than 1, it's squeezing, it's, it's less than 1, uh, by absolute value, it's uh, stretching. Um, by the way, here is an interesting point. What happens if it's negative? Let's say it's negative 1. Let's start with this. Well, that's actually very simple because, again, if your original point let's say you have a graph like this. If you have original point AB, let's consider that this constant A is equal to minus 1. So in this particular case, A divided by minus 1, which is minus A, uh, comma B, this point belongs to the graph. Now, where is minus A, B? Well, obviously, it's a reflection relative to the y-axis. So with this point, we will have this point, which belongs to the new graph. With this point, we will have this, which belongs to the new graph. This point, which is already on the y-axis, actually stays, stays, stays where it is, because x is equal to 0 in this case, so if you multiply it by minus 1, 0 times minus 1 will be 0. So basically the whole graph will reflect relative to the y-axis. So whenever you 
whenever you multiply by a positive number, depending on whether it's greater or less than one, you're basically squeezing or stretching the graph. But if it's negative, not only you're squeezing or stretching, you're also reflecting the graph relative to um, the y-axis. Okay? And um, the last, which is uh, obviously similar to all these guys, will be what happens with function if you multiply it. The whole function will be multiplied by A. Again, we start with original. B is equal to function of A. That means that point AB belongs to the graph, original graph. Obviously, if you take new function, then a comma ab belongs to the new graph. Why? Because if you will uh, substitute um, a for x, we will have f of a, which is b, times a. So we will have a times b. Now, graphically, how it looks graphically. If you have a function like this, again, and you have original point A, B. Now, the same value of argument A will result in uh, stretching. Let's again consider that A is greater than 1, positive number greater than 1, uh, like 2, 3, that means that the function will actually stretch the y-axis, the ordinate, by corresponding with by like 2, 3, whatever the a is. So in, instead of this segment, we will have segment which is a times greater. And this point belongs to the new graph. Now, instead of this segment, we will have a times greater, which is this one. So the whole graph will go higher. So every segment is stretched by, let's say, ratio of 2 or 3 or whatever. Now, obviously, if A is positive but less than 1, you are squeezing the graph towards the x-axis. So it will be something like this. And finally, if A is negative, then not only you are, let's start with the minus 1. If it's minus 1, then a comma minus b will be point on the graph. So if this is uh, a point a, b, then a minus b will be here. Uh, so basically the whole graph will reflect this way. Together with this on the original graph, you will have this on the new graph. Instead of this, you will have uh, you will have this point. So this point is transformed into this, etc., etc. So we are reflecting the graph relative to the x-axis. Now, if it's not just minus one but minus, let's say, two, then it's both a reflection and stretching by two. Um, and if it's let's say minus one half, it's reflection and squeezing uh, by the ratio of two. Okay, that basically concludes all these four cases when we are uh, adding something to an argument or adding something to a function. Multiplying something by an argument or multiplying the whole function. Um, if we are adding or subtracting number uh, to an argument or from an argument, that shifts the graph left or right. And if we are edging fun to, to the whole function, it moves the graph up or down. Similarly, with multiplication. With multiplication, we are squeezing uh, or maybe reflecting relative to the y-axis, uh, the graph along the x-axis. And finally, if we are um, multiplying by a number the entire function, 
we are stretching or squeezing vertically and maybe reflecting as well. So these are four cases I wanted to present in this particular uh, problem number one. Thank you very much.